Hello everyone and welcome to Mars Colony Challenger episode 4 in my Mars Colony Challenger series. Today we are going to be doing the first part of phase 3 where we need to set up the communication systems um, for the base. So you can see that the base has a new section here and we have some parts in the garage. Our first objective is to get the satellite and radio gear installed at the top of the base. So let's get to work. There's no time to waste. We've also got a new rover, as you can see here. So I'm going to go ahead and load the equipment that needs to go up into the uh, uh, on the roof of the base. Just might as well get that task done while we're here. Uh, that's the wrong one. Alright, there we go, radio gear. And, uh, while I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna go ahead and put the tools in that rover as well. Then I'll just go ahead and drive this around the base. Alright. Grab the, um, I'm going to start with the SATCOM gear. So, we've got a, a new section um, on the roof here. You've got the uh, antenna. You can see the antenna dish over there, which is the SATCOM gear. That is uh, placed at a, or um, that relays to a satellite in orbit, placed in a geostationary orbit. Um, in real life, a geostationary orbit is when you have a satellite like orbiting uh, a certain area, so like right above, so the location. The orbit's high enough that the satellite rotates with the planet. All right, let's see here. Uh, sometimes it's a little difficult to click on this because there's a bug. Come on. There we go. Service install the radio gear. So the uh, communication, this will allow us to communicate with Earth. All right, activate the satellite communications. And then we've got to install this tower here, which will communicate with the other radio tower up on that uh, mountain and the other one located over that way somewhere. All right. Now that the sun's out, I'm going to go ahead and turn my uh, lights off on my spacesuit to conserve power. So once you have the radio gear and the uh, SATCON set up, or COM set up, uh, you'll start to receive optional missions uh, in addition to your regular tasks. So there could be anything from down satellites to uh, radioactive rocks and meteors that could uh, occur that they'll want you to go out and look for. I'll probably have that some occurring uh, next phase or something. All right, one left.
Alright, so once we get this installed, we'll tune the radio like the last one from phase one. And there we go. Activate the radio and then begin tuning it. Eighty-eight point three looks good. All right. Power up base radio. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and take this rover back. All right, exit the vehicle, and I'm going to go ahead and load up rover one, or zero, rather, to prepare uh, to go out to the, um, uh, other radio tower. And then we have a set of um, weather stations that need to be set up as well. So I'm going to take this out and bring it around back to the um, airlock over here. Balancing pressure in airlock, please wait. So you're probably wondering what this is, these weird uh, looking things are. These are um, these are the uh, portable towers that you can take. I'll be moving those later. For now I'm just going to go ahead and take a couple of the weather stations, which are over here. Grab weather station. And then while I'm thinking about it, I'm also going to go ahead and go to the SATCOM station. Uh, control. Con connection has failed. So we need to adjust the elevation in the azimuth. So we're going to move this up to 110. Because that's where this satellite is located currently. This is going to take a little while. Wait, no, that was 16.9, my bad. Okay, there's that. Um, and then we're going to move the azimuth right. Boom, there you go. Elevation 69, azimuth 110. Phobos Geyser are reconnected. Then our next step is, you can see here, data link failure, check all remote towers. Our second, or uh, if we click local, it says no signal because we haven't put the uh, towers out yet. And then we've got tower two, which is offline. So we'll be moving these communication towers out soon. Probably next episode. For now, I just want to get that second communications tower online. Alright, close the airlock behind us. Uh, let's go. So, uh, you may notice that the map looks different now. This is the uh, map when you have communications. Uh, it'll show you your drill sites, sample sites, GP, uh, global position. I can't remember how you say GPR or what GPR stands for. Um, 
I do know that it detects the echo of uh, devices. Geologists use them quite a lot. Um, we went over it in my geology class last semester, and if you haven't watched this before, I'm in college, so. And then you've got your equipment. Oh, network failure, no signal. So it looks like we'll be putting one of the remote transmitters up on that hill so we can uh, continue to get reception when we're not in range of the base. Still continuing onward to the tower. I think I'll go this way. Let's try to climb this hill. I doubt we'll be able to get up it. But... Uh, yeah. Come on, Hercules Rover, you've got this. I believe in you. Or just a little bit further. Alright, we are now at the top of the hill. So the communications tower should be right there. I'm going to go ahead and swap this out, grab the radio gear. And then grab the power cell. Oops. Service install. Oh, I just realized my health is going down. Oh dear. Forgot to get a drink before I left. Should be able to make it back in time. Alright. Quickly activate the radio. Alright, there we go. And this is gonna be tight. Alright, um, let's see here. We're gonna go ahead and take this back towards the base. Alright, there's the base. I'm going to go ahead and deploy this weather station real quick. Set unit. 
Power on transmit unit active. There we go. All right, that's the first weather station, and let's get back to this base. I'm just normally I wouldn't recommend going down the hill like this, but because I don't really have a choice since my character is about to die soon, I I'm just gonna go down the hill and I'll fix the rover later. Yeah, my wear is definitely going up quite a bit there. On over. I'm just trying to cut some time by going over the. Uh... Oh, yep, my health is going red, or I'm uh, starting to blink. That's a bad sign. I got too focused on work that I didn't make time for my character. Important life lessons. Yay. Alright, we made it back to the base. Um, I need to go ahead and get some food immediately. Come on. This airlock isn't that big, it shouldn't take so long to pressurize and depressurize. Alright, um, I'm gonna check the air scrubber real quick. There's too much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere right now because of the new sections added. I'm gonna have to wait, so that means I'll have to use the ELS at least one more time. Alright. Uh, up the air balance. Alright, then take off the helmet, who would eat food. There we go. Then I... Uh, oops. Reactivate uh, spacesuit and then set the temperature. Actually, uh, I'm use the bathroom real quick. Come on, <laughs> bad time to quit. Please finish your business. All right, there we go. Control T. <laughs> you feel better now. Yeah, that's an understatement. All right, set the temperature, and then I equalize the air pressure so we don't lose any precious oxygen. Looks like the air mix is at 14 psi, although the or the uh, um, the air the pressure per square inch is the same, but is outside. But the air mix isn't quite up to par yet. All right, and then I'm just gonna run a quick medical test on my character, figure out if he needs any meds. Look, looks like I need to take Propodyne. Um, determinant of health lo loss. Well, that's an obvious because it was I. Uh, I literally nearly starved to death. So 
up the air mix again. Yeah, don't take medicine without using the medical bed because that can give you the recommendations you need. Control T, meds, use meds. All right, and then power on. Set the temperature. And that will be it for this episode. Oh crud, I opened the pressurized door. Yep, that's why you depressurize all the time when you can. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I've got probably about either one or two more episodes of phase two, or three, I mean. So, uh, I'm Spaceman20, peace.